Kwame Ashala, Brother Ra, coming to you with another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible. Okay, and a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Now, these videos we do are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and that includes the confusion of faces. Now, I was inspired to do a video um, through the Spirit, you know, watching the video that Apostle Tahar did. Uh, the video was called Try the Spirits, Whether They Are of the Most High. Now, um, one of the things the Apostle said in the video is that diligence is key. Okay, that's important that we, you know, take heed to what, you know, the elders and apostles, you know, um, mentioned in the videos. Diligence is key. So when, when the Apostle said that, you know, it, it only resonated in the spirit for me to do a video on it. So that video, um, try the spirits, whether they are of the most high. I recommend brothers to, to go and watch that video. And for the ones who are, are seeking truth, the the name of um, the apostles page is what is the 666 mark. Okay. All right. That's the apostle. You know, um, that that's who the Lord uh, ordained as head of Israel. All right, with the knowledge is pushing the truth. Okay, so um, for for you listeners out there who are in sincerity and who want to seek the the true knowledge, starting with the head tribe of um uh, or the head of the, the nation of Israel. Okay, look, it's, it's it's important for you to um watch watch those videos that the apostles put out. So anyway, um, first thing I want to do is go into the definition of diligence. Um, okay, so the definition of diligence reads. Um, let me see one second so the definition of diligent reads having or showing care and consciousness in one's work or duties so I'm going to to apply that to the lifestyle of the men of the uh, of the truth okay the ones who is pushing the truth and sincerity the definition of diligent reads having or showing care. So when we come into truth, we have to show that we care about the truth. All right, show that we care about Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says in consciousness in one's work or duties. So if you're being conscious and being in the spirit about your work and duties, you're going to grow. All right, and that's why it's important for us to understand that diligence is key. Okay, now that word key means very important, man, crucial. All right. So um, I'm going to bring out some precepts and be edifying to the, um, to the hopeful elect, Lord willing. So first precept I want to bring out is uh, Proverbs 13 to 4. It reads, the soul of the sluggard desired. All right, and the sluggard is, is sort of, is like the lazy one. Okay, the soul of a, of a lazy person, they always want to desire things, right? Okay, and it reads on, and have nothing. Okay, so... You, you, you can't be wanting things out there and you don't want to go get it, you know. And if you wanted this truth, you want to um you want to be in this truth, you can't be lazy about it. Uh, and, and then you want to seek the kingdom. That, that ain't going to work. All right. It reads, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. And though that's the uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord willing with some of those men. All right. Because the ones who are showing consciousness and showing that they care about this work. Are going to be the ones who are made fat, okay? Are going to be the ones who are going to receive that mercy, man, okay? Are going to be the ones ultimately who is going to receive um, salvation, who's going to be beamed up in those chariots when all hell break loose, man, okay? When when the Lord wants to redeem the elect of the nation of Israel, those are the are, those are going to be the ones who are going to be made fat, and including the fact that um, the ones who are diligent, pushing the truth, showing that they care, okay, are going to be the ones who are storing up treasures in heaven. All right, so the ones who are diligent, it says, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Okay, and we just read the definition of diligent being having or showing care and consciousness in one's work or duties. And the work and duties that we're referring to um, in this particular situation or this case is, is the uh, work of the Lord, man, the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, it reads rigorous, all right, hardworking. Matter of fact, let me go into rigorous. Okay, rigorous means extremely thorough. Okay, so 
if you want to be in this truth, you have to be um, thoroughly, uh, uh, so like extremely thorough in, in this truth. Okay, always studying, you know, with a perfect balance, praying, you know, first and foremost, um, you know, uh, um, praying for, you know, the, the spirit for faith, endurance, diligence, okay, seeking the knowledge, always asking for wisdom, all right, and actually um, putting in that work, that rigorous work, all right, to, to receive the knowledge and wisdom of these scriptures, all right, so in order for us to be diligent, we have to be extremely thorough, all right, careful, attentive, you know, hardworking, because when you, when you come into the truth and you learn about your heritage, now you're going against the grain, you're going against the society, which makes it hardworking, you got to be diligent about this, okay, you can't be sitting around saying that, um, you know, knowing that you were Israelite, but you don't want to go out and push the truth if you were um, so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American man, okay, because this is your heritage, now, I'm going to go to uh, Proverbs 21 and, uh, See, 21 and 5. It reads, the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteous, plenteousness. All right. And that plenteousness is wisdom. All right. Seeking the kingdom first and foremost. Yeah, it, it's plenteous work to be done and it's truth. And that's the thoughts of, of, of um, the diligent because the diligent knows that, you know, it, it, you know, knows that there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of learning, learning to, to, to receive. Okay. All through the spirit and the perfect balance. And that's part of showing that you care because the Lord chose us out of the world, man. All right. The world of, of, of being wicked and sinful hey, is it's important for us to, to be thankful, man, to appreciate that. All right. And show that you care, you know, by, by being um, diligent in his truth. OK, and so it reads Proverbs 21 and 5. The thoughts of the diligent tend to only to plenteousness, but of everyone that is hasty only to want. So the ones that want to be quick to jump into the truth, because they want they want salvation, they want they want um, to receive the mercy, knowing that these prophecies are coming to pass, and knowing that we in the end, they just they just want, but not realizing that this is a marathon, man. This is a marathon. This is not a, a four yard dash, man. Okay, this is a a, a long um, process of suffering, man. Okay, so you know. That's why it's important for us to be diligent, man, because diligent is key. Now, this is coming from the head, um, the head man of the nation of Israel, man. It's coming from the Apostle Tahar letting us know that diligence is key. So to give an example how important that is, you think about, and I, I use sports analogies, but you think about like um, a rookie coming into the game. Matter of fact, you think about um, when Kobe Bryant first came to the game or LeBron. You know, they sought out the, the the wisdom and knowledge of their world of sports, of playing basketball, the game of basketball. They reached out to the greats, the ones who had, who had done it, endured in the game, who was diligent in the game, and proved themselves, all right, by uh, going through a long-lasting career and actually receiving the, the accolades and the acknowledgement in that world of basketball, okay? So... Michael Jordan, for example, you know, they sought out, you know, uh, guidance from them or they sought out information and wisdom from, you know, all, all the other greats, man. All right. Like um, Bill Russell. OK. Um, you know, Earl of Pearl Monroe, all, all, the, all those former greats that actually endured. OK. They've already made their stamp. OK. So when you when you look at it from a spiritual standpoint, you're looking at the apostle. Tahar, who's been in the truth for over 30 years, being diligent, okay, proving himself over and over to the Lord all through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, controlled by the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let's get that straight, okay? So it's important that we take heed to, to the fact that the Apostle Tahar is letting us know that diligence is key. It's key and it's true. So, I'm, and this video is speaking to me first and foremost, you know, to, to be edifying to myself. And um, make sure that, you know, we keep pushing. We keep pushing. We are diligent about it as well. So uh, next precept I want to bring out is uh, Hebrews 6 and 11. You know, it's only important for us to to push on, man. It, it's, you can't be one to seek the, um, the kingdom, fight for the kingdom if if you're out here half-assing it, man. You got Esau, Esau's... Um, 
you know, putting pressure on our people, having our people labor to death, and our, and our people are diligent about carnal things, going to job on, uh, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing wrong with going to work on time and putting in overtime and all these things, but are you doing that for the Lord? Are you going, are you doing, are you going hard and, and uh, doing hard work and rigorous studying and pushing videos for the Lord? Okay, because if you really truly believe, you would do that. Hebrews 6 and 11 reads, And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. And that's full assurance. Okay, we, we are required to show diligence until the end, a full assurance until the end. Because those are the only ones who are going to be saved. Lord willing, with some of those men are the ones who endure to the end. And that enduring, hey, that's, that's a part of being diligent. That's a part of being uh, of being hardworking and pushing to the end, okay? Not on one week where you know you have a good week and and you're you know you you feel like okay well since I had a good week and I'm not catching hell then let me um let me push a couple of more videos you know just just because I had a good week no even when you catch in hell you have to do everything in a perfect balance of course but we're supposed to be required to be diligent until the end as the scriptures say. Hebrews 6 and 11, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. And, hey, and that's why it's hope, because we have not seen it yet. Going back to faith, as a matter of fact, I'm hearing Hebrews, so I'll just bring it out. And that's why, because if you really hope and believe and have faith, you'll be pushing, you'll be diligent in this truth. And to the end. So Hebrews 11 and 1 reads, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So that word faith goes back to hope. Okay. All right. If, if you really hope and, and you really believe in this truth and you really have faith, you're going to, you're going to push and endure to the end. Okay. Cause this, uh, even though we haven't seen salvation, we haven't seen the Lord send his only begotten son down to uh, redeem the elect of the nation of Israel. We truly believe that. And that's why it's important for us to be diligent. And that's why the apostle is letting you know, um, the apostle Tahar is letting you know that diligence is key. He's been in the truth for over 30 years. Why why, why um, should we not hearken to that? We should definitely pay attention to the things that the apostles are saying. It's true, it, it, we, it, we believe and we are faithful in this, in this truth knowing that the Lord is dealing with these men. Okay? So last precept I want to bring out is uh, 2 Peter. And I'm going to close out on this, 2 Peter 1 and 10. All right, let's see. 2 Peter 1 and 10 reads, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Okay? That's how you're going to make your call and election sure if you're part of the elect. Okay? If you give diligence. And we went into the word hardworking. Okay? It reads, having or showing care and consci consciousness in one's work or duties. Um, rigorous, careful, thorough, okay, dedicated, committed. Dedicated, committed, I mean, all these definitions are spot on, but through the spirit, you know, when you're dedicated or committed to something, you know, it, it's it's a life, it's a life, um, a lifetime, man. It's not, um, you can't be dedicated or committed to something for a short period of time. And dedication and commitment takes a uh takes a a long lifetime of commitment you ain't just popping up saying you know i'm, I'm dedicated and committed and then you're gone um a few weeks later or a year later you don't have that fiery spirit that you had when you first came in okay it reads on um tireless so you know hey we gotta we gotta be we we can't we can't um you know uh pass out in this truth we gotta we gotta be uh we gotta have that win man that second win that third win whatever win we need to keep going okay because we are are are, are um wa we're wanting to be diligent okay we're praying for that so it's important for us to 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 make our call and election sure by being diligent so again um second peter first and ten wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure for if ye do these things ye shall never fail and that is why the Apostle Tahar said diligence is key. Because if we do these things, Lord willing, we're some of those men, and we're part of the elect, we we won't fail. Okay, and that's all controlled by the power and spirit of Yahweh Shemiah was shot. 
So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the Akimah there, pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.